But next up here, we got a Skeleton Crew series. Was uh, I think we, they saw a trailer or something. This comes to us from Movie Phone. It better be all true, Movie Phone. Hold on, let me see what it says. It says, Where are you out- getting these sources from? <laughs> movie <laughs> Phone! No, I didn't even know Movie Phone <laughs> was still around. Why Movie Phone? Oh, movie, phone movie Phone! Are there any other sources? <laughs> are there this goes- any other sources you could have found? <laughs> listen, this gave us some good stuff, all right? Listen, just listen to this. All we right. got Further Out is Skeleton Crew, which was created and is run by recent Spider-Man trilogy filmmaker John Watts alongside Spider-Man Homecoming collaborator Christopher Ford. The pair have come up with a series set around the same time as The Mandalorian, which follows the journey of four kids who make a mysterious discovery on their seemingly safe home planet, then get lost in a strange and dangerous galaxy. Finding their way home and meeting unlikely allies and enemies will be a greater adventure than they ever Ever imagined. Jude Law stars alongside younger actors Ravi Cabot Conyers, man, that is a fun name, Kiriana Clatter, and Robert Timothy Smith, and Ryan Kira Armstrong. There's no word yet on uh, when the show will land on Disney. IGN sources posted an image inside Star Wars Celebration showing all the directors involved for each episode. Directors include John Watts, David Lowry, the Daniel Brothers, Jake Schreier, Bryce Dallas Howard, and uh, Lee Isaac Chung. Now, the Daniel Brothers, that's, those are the guys who made uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once, isn't it? That is yep. correct. Yep. 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 They just won the Oscar. What a complete Oscar win, winners, man. the Daniel Brothers. Uh, Ted, what do you, how do you feel about all this? I think, uh, you know, like we were saying before, uh, anything that's not attached directly to other Star Wars properties is like, yeah, let's let's get something new in here. Mm. So I'm excited. Dude, Jude Law is just working too, man. That guy's getting yeah. everything. I love Jude Law. He's great. Yeah. The uh, Although I will say this, I hope it's... I hope the kids are Goonies age. Yeah. I, yeah. I because think so. anything older than that, I don't I don't care about teenagers. I'm gonna get annoyed with their angsty, <laughs> like, oh man, my lightsaber doesn't work. Oh, you know, it's something <laughs> stupid dumb like that. We gotta but, listen to this old man. Come on. But if it's like little kids running a ship, that'd be cool. That'd be fun to see. Like Well, last year I like remember Stand by me, but in space. <laughs> well, I was well last year. I remember when they announced this project for the first time. They basically kind of described it as like it's got getting having the vibe of like Amblin, like early Spielberg. And I think okay. they specifically mentioned Goonies, like Goonies in the Star Wars universe, which oh, all right. I well, really then. latched onto that. I thought that was a pretty. It's different. It's new. So I'm still excited about this because again, yeah, I like the uniqueness of it being something akin to early Spielberg, Amblin, all that kind of stuff in Star Wars. Will we uh, get another E.T. cameo from yes. from the prequels too? Oh, should. Yeah. <laughs> like in, in this yeah, the all the ETs in the Senate chamber. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you go. There's your crossover right there. Oh, yeah. We gotta do we that with like Steven Spielberg crossover. dressed up as another alien next to it. I think yeah, guys. This is booth. <laughs> it's just Steven the Lisp. <laughs> What's up, guys? <laughs> I'm Steven. <laughs> Little known fact, he's related to Ben Mendelssohn, you guys didn't realize. Ben Mendelssohn. Ben Mendelssohn. <laughs> uh, is my ben friend Ben Mendelssohn. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm excited. Although, so they got, so the, the audience there got a trailer, right? So they showed them a trailer? Uh, yes, the the yeah. audience got a trailer, but we did not. Sadly, yeah. oh, I want to see one on. so badly. Oh. I mean, they'll, they'll they usually release it like two to three months after the thing, anyway. Three uh, months. It's gonna take so forever. Why <laughs> 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 would you say that, Chad? They gotta they gotta change stuff if the crowd didn't act the way they wanted. You know, they're like, oh, they didn't really. They they want a Queen song in the trailer. Let's put that. In there. <laughs> But it's also they, interesting to note uh, that this this project takes place in the Mandalorian timeline. So again, when we go back to our chart of timeline stuff, you know, it, it goes after the the New Rebellion begins. This this era, this Mandalorian, I'm just gonna call it the Mandalorian era, getting pretty full, getting yeah. pretty yeah. full. Like it's 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 just like everything's stacked on top of each other and. Yeah, I'm, well, also we'll the see fact- everything's starting to get more spread out now with the, the other projects they've said, but it's like this one is yet another thing in the Mandalorian timeline. It's just, I, I just noticed it a lot this time, seeing seeing them announce that, and I'm like, man, this is so stacked, this era. Mm. But uh, off of that, uh, what's going to be more, uh, I, I don't know if it'd be more confusing or not, but I kept hearing uh, in the news... Uh, 
the Mandalorian is like going to be more of an anthology of Mandalorians. Like, so it won't follow Din, the Jin, uh, that long. It'll like yeah. jump to maybe Bo Katan or oh. somebody else in the mm. clan. And I was like, that's interesting. Like, so I'm not just seeing baby uh, Grogu all the time and, and stuff because it's like, I, 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 he's cute. But it's like let's move. <laughs> let's move the story. Let's go. Please. That's well. That's what's been interesting. Like the, my complaints about the season so far, like season three of Mando, is that it's not about him, and they keep shifting right. to other people or setting up other storylines. Is like, and same with Boba Fett. It was like, is this the book of Boba Fett, or is this the book of setting up other shit? You know, it's like yeah. let's focus on them and then i like the idea of it being an anthology series yeah. but like as of right now it's just been him and baby yoda because i guess the merchandise but like oh, yeah. they really shot themselves in the foot this season by you know having the res the resolution of them being separate in boba fett you know it's like you could have i don't know I yeah, and that's one of the I, st I still haven't seen season three but that is one of the criticisms criticisms i've been hearing is that it's just the focus is kind of shifting to a different area and it's yeah. just kind of it's jarring mm -hmm. yeah din jarring it's Ooh. din jarring oh. <laughs> ah. thank you thank you i'll see myself there we go. <laughs> um I lost that my train of thought. I was going to say something. <laughs> skeleton crew. We're talking about skeleton crew. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> but I guess we I, have nothing else to say because we well, just diverted to a Mandalorian conversation. Well, let me let me just go back to Mandalorian one more time, and then I'll say something about skeleton crew. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I think I think the, the problem with Mandalorian season three is that they advertised it as this thing about him, uh, Din Djarin, trying to find the waters of, the, of Mandalore. And... I mean, everything that the, the the trailer set up happens in two episodes. And now yeah. we have four or five other episodes now that we have to be like, okay, now what happens? Yeah. So that's currently been the problem with it, in my opinion. But now mm -hmm. going back to Skeleton Crew, um, I hope this show is good because, I don't know, it, it's, it's always hard to see a, a Disney show hype us up with all this Star Wars stuff. And then we watch it all the way through and we're all disappointed. So, you know, it's, it's been happening a lot with the Obi-Wan series. It's happened with the Boba Fett series. Those are two characters that should have been, like, rocking it these in these seasons, you know? Yeah. And instead, we got something that we didn't expect to want or to see and not want. Y you guys know what I'm saying. Something um, we didn't like. We got something for the most part. Right. I think it's going back to, to what one of you guys said earlier today was uh, the fact that they're new characters. We don't know any of these guys. They're hopefully going to interact with characters we don't know. They're in planets we don't know about. It'll be a fun Star Wars universe story, hopefully like the Goonies. That would be really yeah. cool. They better not find a book that says, long ago there was a guy named Luke Skywalker. I'm like, get the hell out of here. Luke Skywalker. Get out of here. <laughs> All right, well then let's we talk about- We gotta find the... one-eyed Luke's treasure. <laughs> the one-eyed Luke's <laughs> treasure. I mean, I'm not against that. I'm not against that. <laughs>